Experts say using artificial intelligence can certainly make booking or planning a trip easier, but before relying solely on the technology, they say not so fast. This would get us a better deal, definitely. When it comes to booking a flight or hotel, travelers at Detroit Metro Airport have their go-to methods. This time we went to kayak just to make sure because it was a last minute trip. We go to Google Flights and look and then just usually go to the Delta website, but for lodging, I really like to be strategic. Now another tool is entering the conversation, AI travel planning. You do a Google search now and you get results based on AI input. So uh, it's, it's being integrated with everything that we do. Tijuana Smith-Brown is a travel consultant and owner of Ascend Beyond Travel in Redford. She says websites like TripAdvisor or Booking.com have incorporated AI elements, which can be beneficial. Pretty much put in your dates where you want to go, where you're traveling from, and it quickly gives you an itinerary. But while the technology can be helpful, she says it's still capable of making mistakes. They don't know the nuance as far as complexity when you're doing a stop off or you have two or three different locations that you're trying to visit in one shot. They can't do that. There's also an element of human emotion that AI can't replicate. Something may be happening and it's very stressful. AI is not going to provide them that emotional support. It's got both round trip and one way. Joe Tavares is an AI expert with Resolute Building Intelligence in Troy. He says search engines and websites that use AI can help travelers score a deal. It's not necessarily like ChatGPT, but they do analytics and they're able to, to get the best pricing based on different time periods and they're able to do quick competitive analysis and see what the other airlines are charging. We also sat down with him to see if ChatGPT could help plan a trip to Fiji when prompted and Tavares was pretty satisfied with the results. It's got seasonal pricing, so it's actually doing a pretty impressive job. Um, these are a lot of the same things that I would expect a travel agent to do. Um, but again, it doesn't have that nuance. And travelers we spoke to say they're open to using the tech in the future. I might have had some reservations about it in the past, but sometimes you just can't fight it and you got to learn how to use it. Demetria Sanders, 7 News Detroit.